recycled music. I take tunes from the past and I give them fun new lyrics. I sing about what you think about, but don't dare say it. I'm like the Italian version of Weird Al Yankovic. And I opened for him at the Hard Rock, so. But what I'm gonna do is take rock, pop, and hip hop, change all the words, so don't try to sing along because you don't know it, unless you've been listening to my CD. Then sing along. Yeah. But what I do is everybody always asks me, Little J, are you really a Gambino? And I'm like, yes, I am. Well, what's it like? I'm like, well, I'm Italian, and we live by the code of silence, so merit that. But it goes something like this. How many of you remember the song Monster Mash? Yeah. You guys remember the song Monster Mash? Well, I turned it into Mobster Bash. DJ Danny, I want to tell these people what it's like to be a mobster. Why is that child? Come over here. No song is good unless you got a white guy slamming his fist right behind you. Charlie, my life has changed. 
I'm not doing a lot of the things I do anymore. He's like, nah, what are you doing? I said, I'm actually making people laugh. He said, you're not hurting anybody. I'm like, nah, I'm making people laugh. He says, you really changed your ways? I said, yeah, I enrolled in Mobsters Anonymous, and I think you should too. So he says, okay, so he comes out, and I enrolled him in Mobsters Anonymous. Now, I told Charlie, you got to be a different kind of guy. So what I did just before he got here was I mailed him this pin that says magic. I said, Charlie, I want you to take up a new hobby. Forget all you learned about hurting people. I want you to learn magic. Charlie, have you been studying magic? I've been studying a lot of magic. Okay, do you look in the mirror every day and think magic? I think magic. And every time you get that urge to do something you shouldn't be doing, do you rub that pin and say magic? I sure do. All right, Charlie. Now, you told me the other day that you learned how to make a man disappear. Is that true? You got it. All right, tell us how to make a man disappear. Now roll him up at some carpet. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie! Charlie. Monsters anonymous, would you focus? Focus. Do I have to put you in front of the mirror? Think magic. It was supposed to be a magic trick, Charlie. Gotcha. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's try this again. Charlie, magic. Magic. All right. You told me you were practicing magic. You said you learned to split a body in half. How do you split a body in half? Sharp chainsaw. Charlie. Oh my God. I am so sorry, you guys. You're slipping, Charlie. Do I need to call your sponsor? No. Oh, don't make me call Uncle Vinny over right. here. Gotcha. Right. Well, you think magic? Magic. You think you can do that? I think I can do that. All right. All right. All right, let's try this again. Charlie. Okay. All right, Charlie. You told me you were practicing magic, and you said because you're Italian, you never want to say abracadabra. You said you're going to say bada boom, bada bing. Why do you say bada boom, bada bing? That's a sound of two bodies going around in the back of the truck. Charlie! You're not doing good, Charlie. Look at all these people. They don't want to hear stuff like that. Charlie, have you been practicing magic? Yeah, I've been practicing magic. Okay, there's a reason why he doesn't get the wireless mic, okay? He only gets the wired mic. Because sometimes Charlie doesn't know the difference between a wire on a mic and a wire from the feds. And uh, we were on this talk show not too long ago, and we were wearing little lavalier mics. We were wired, weren't we, Charlie? We were wired. Guess what? All the boys called me and they said if they saw you wearing the wire again, you're going to be sleeping with the fishes. You got it. Call me Charlie the Tuna. Charlie the Tuna. Charlie the Tuna. <laughs> see, I'm going to cheat over here. You see, this girl, you know, I've been telling everyone she's 17. She corrected me. She's 16, correct? Is this sad? She's 16, I'm 46. And I need a stool just to measure up. You know what I'm saying? It's just not fair. Some people grow up, other people grow out. We do have two. because I'm not going to let you all run away without hearing the comedy talents of Jenny Wells. So we're going to pick one winner, then we're going to bring on the fabulous Jenny Wells, and then we'll pick winner number two, okay? All right, Sienna, I want you to mix your arm all around in here. I tell you what, do you mind taking off your jacket? Take off your jacket so they know it's... Uh-oh, uh-oh, there you go. Take off your jacket, reach your hand in there, swirl it around the other way, and then tell us who that lucky winner is. First lucky winner is Joanne. <laughs> Joanne, first one. The old guy. Joanne. Now I have to say something interesting. I'm gonna tell you something. And it was kind of funny. She was the first one to buy a ticket. And she was I never weighed over 105 pounds. Now those are the Einstein to figure out. My ass is double that by now. Okay. <laughs> I was 105 pounds till I adopted three kids. <laughs> they change your life as you know it. Okay, suddenly you're not going to the club. You're watching Disney movies. <laughs> suddenly you're not eating healthy because you have a snack. They're eating a snack, you're having a snack. Snack attack. So as I'm raising these wonderful kids, and I adopted my son and daughter when they were four and five, Today they are 21 and 22. But you guys didn't think I was that old, did you? Now, I'm 46 years old. No! Yes! No! And you know what, you know what my secret is, Donnie? Do you know why I look so young? Eat Victoria! Chubby cheeks, baby! <laughs> no, chubby cheeks knocks the wrinkles out, baby. That is my motto. The more you eat, the happier you are, the happier you are, the better you feel. 
the younger you look. We thank all of you for being here and showing the support. Sienna, come on up here and let everybody know who you are. Let's give it up for Sienna. Now Sienna gets a cheat because uh, when I stand here beside her, I look all grown up. When I get down here, forget about it. I instantly become dwarf for the year. This is the beautiful Sienna. Sienna, I'd like you to tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what school you go to, and what she's doing is she's competing. She definitely got my vote, and I hope all of yours. Yep. She's competing for Miss Nevada Teen 2013. Let's hear it for Sienna. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. My name's Sienna Nelson. I'm 16 years old. I'm running for Miss Nevada Teen right now, and it's my first big, real pageant, so I'm really excited about that and everything. Um, I play three sports. I actually just came here from a basketball game. We won. We're undefeated for now. And, um, I do two other sports cross country and track. Um, in track, I'm ranked top 20 in the nation. So that's how I went to college and everything. So everything is driving me in the right path. And I met Lil Jay, driving me to that path. So, so thank you. And I'm Italian. I know people. <laughs> And we got this put together. Jerry is the wonderful, wonderful man that runs Mad Greek here that gave us this venue for tonight. So thank you, Jerry, wherever you are. And thank you for your wonderful food. Um, Antonio Freeman with Blink Show TV. Raise your hand, Antonio. He is our media guy, so he's going to get footage of everybody tonight. So you might just end up on TV, OK? And uh, then we've got Keely. Keely is a promoter. She runs around the streets and does all that face-to-face -face hustling, letting people know where we are. And then I really want to give a big shout out to all the comedians that came together in a very short notice, okay? I mean, these comedians jumped to the table like in a New York minute. So we do have David Lee in the house. Let's give it up for David Lee. We do have Phil Periado. He's in the house. Let's hear Sound. We have my PR, Nikki D, who keeps everything on schedule. 